Welcome to our e-learning video on spotting the signs and symptoms of someone thinking of suicide. Awareness of these signs is essential as early intervention can save lives. Remember, if you suspect someone in immediate danger, please get in touch with emergency services immediately. You could help to save their life. Now, let's get started. Understanding suicide warning signs is crucial for recognizing when someone may be at risk. Here are some key signs to look out for. Behavioral changes. Withdrawal from social activities and relationships. Loss of interests in previously enjoyed activities. A sudden decline in academic or work performance. Increased use of alcohol or drugs. Reckless or impulsive behavior. Verbal cues. Expressing feelings of hopelessness, worthlessness, or being trapped. The person was talking about being a burden to others. They are making statements about feeling trapped or having no reason to live. The person is expressing thoughts of wanting to die or escape. Emotional signs. Persistent feelings of sadness, anxiety, or irritability. Mood swings or emotional outbursts. Saying statements such as, I am feeling hopeless or without purpose. I am expressing overwhelming guilt or shame. It increased anger or rage. Changes in sleep and self-care. Insomnia or sleeping excessively. Loss of appetite or overeating. Unusual behavior, such as giving away valued possessions or making final arrangements. If you can identify any of these traits, you need to discuss them with the person you are worried about. How to approach someone who may be at risk. Approaching someone at risk of suicide can be difficult, but offering support and showing that you care is essential. Here are some tips on how to approach the situation. Choose the right time and place. Find a quiet and private setting where you can talk without interruptions. Be empathetic and non-judgmental. Show that you genuinely care and are there to listen. Avoid criticizing or dismissing their feelings. Ask directly about suicidal thoughts. Be straightforward, but compassionate in asking if they're considering suicide. Many believe that asking this question may encourage the person to commit suicide. Research has shown that this is not true. Try to be caring but direct. Be prepared for an honest response. Listen actively. Please give them your full attention and let them express their thoughts and emotions. Avoid interrupting or offering immediate solutions. Encourage professional help. Suggest that they seek professional support, such as a therapist or counselor. Offer to help them find resources or accompany them to appointments if they feel comfortable. If you think they are in immediate danger, it is crucial to take immediate action. Here's what you can do. Stay with them. If they're in immediate danger, do not leave them alone. Keep them away from any means of self-harm, such as medications or weapons. Reach out for help. Call emergency services or a helpline for immediate assistance. Please provide them with the necessary information to get help quickly. Involve their support network. If someone is suicidal, it is crucial to take their situation seriously and ensure they receive appropriate help and support. Do not worry about contacting their family and friends it can be an essential step in assisting. It is generally recommended to prioritize their safety over concerns about permission. Follow up. After admitting to suicidal thoughts or a suicide attempt, individuals often experience a wide range of emotions, such as guilt, shame, loneliness, and despair. Staying in contact with them demonstrates your care, concern, and empathy, providing emotional support during their recovery process. Your presence can help alleviate their feelings of isolation and show them that they are not alone in their struggles. If they remain isolation, this can exacerbate feelings of hopelessness and increase the risk of another suicide attempt. By staying in contact, you can help combat the person's sense of isolation, ensuring they have someone they can reach out to when they are struggling. This is why alcoholics always have a sponsor they can turn to in times of need. Regular communication can serve as a lifeline reminding them that they have a support network and encouraging them to seek help when needed. Make a plan of action. Make it clear that you want to help, 
they can approach you anytime to talk. Use Google and search for suicide help. You will get the Samaritan's number here in the UK and America. They provide a 24 seven days a week service. Encourage the person to dial the number or do it yourself and let them talk to a trained advisor. Professional medical help. Discuss making an appointment with their local doctor or hospital and make it clear that you will accompany them to the appointment. This will give them confidence and support and it will also confirm to yourself they are taking the appropriate action. The doctor or hospital is the first step in getting professional help, such as a psychiatrist, psychologist, or therapist, who can provide ongoing support and treatment for their mental health concerns. Reach out to support networks. Encourage the person to confide in trusted family members, friends, or other support networks. Social support is essential during difficult times and can provide emotional comfort and practical assistance. Remember, in situations involving immediate danger, it is essential to prioritize the person's safety and involve emergency services as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video, or if you are not sure of any information in this video, please rewind to any section and watch again.